hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel sarah margaret reads and today's makeup look is one that i really enjoy doing and it's beautiful and i just think it looks really pretty and i hope that you enjoy this video please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to this channel and if you want you can definitely click the bell to get um, notifications of the um, different times that I upload videos which are on Sundays and on Wednesdays usually sometimes I'd be like oh snap what day is it oh it's Sunday oh, I forgot to film something so that I'm so that I just like wait until Wednesday to post it or I do it on like Monday or Tuesday but it is supposed to be on Sundays and on Wednesdays, okay? So yeah, let's just get right into this video. I love you guys. Hey, so nothing new. Um, I am doing my primer, which is the, let's all say it together, Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. <laughs> so I am just applying Please excuse my polish because I did them myself and it looks like caca. So please excuse that. So I'm just blending it in to create a nice base for my shadows. I'm excited to do the orange. Um, to kind of close out this color series. It's been a good run, but it's on to, on to the next, on, on to the next thing. I'm actually going to go in with this soft brown from the Patrick's Star collab with MAC. So I'm going to just use that as kind of like a trend color you can't really see it too well but you know it's pretty good now I am sweating because this whew, these lights are bright <laughs> anyway I am going to be using of course my Juvia's Place um, Zulu palette and I'm going to use this same brush and I'm actually going to use the yellow and the orange so I'm going to do that oh why don't I just dip in the orange okay there that was not what I wanted to do so I'm just going in patting it first before I blend it because you want the color to be there to be nice and rich so I'm just doing that so um, here's an update, which I didn't even, I didn't even like realize, but I've been on YouTube now for a whole year and it's pretty cool and I'm super hyped about it. I was like, oh snap, I have been on here for a whole year and didn't even like realize and I was planning like a month ago, I was like, oh, once I like make it to a year, but I'm gonna do all this stuff and have like a giveaway and all that jazz and then it then it like came and I didn't even like realize it so I was salty so now I'm going to actually use this brush and go in with the orange that is in the palette being very careful but you see how pigmented it is it's like super pigmented ah god don't fall please oh lord okay sorry I'm going to just pat this orange wow on my entire lid. You just pat it first. You don't wipe and swipe and do all that stuff first. You just want to pat it in. So that way the color is more vibrant. Okay. Okay. So Boom, that's that. Now I'm gonna use a 
it's kind of like a um, darker orange and it's by um, Juvia's Place. It's the, it's the Nubian 2 palette. Nothing new. But anyway, this is in the shade Morocco and I'm just going to use that on like the outer corner. So I'm going to take Morocco and kind of coat the brush in it. So, okay. Coat the brush in it, like I said. And then you get that. I'm just going to lightly apply it to the outer corner. Just, just lightly. I don't really want to go crazy with it. I'm going to drag it out a little bit. It looks cute to me. I like it. Just going to keep on going in with that Morocco shade to just really make it all come together. I'm going to go in to this right here in the Zulu palette. It's pouring! Jesus! And I'm just going to like, it's really pouring outside. Jeez, Lee. Every time I film, something has to happen. If I had to do a freaking voiceover because the rain is hitting my window, I'm gonna be mad because I don't like doing voiceover. It's taking on my nerves. Just want to take your time and kind of just like blend everything so that way it looks really cool. It's starting to look nice and I'm just going to take the this brush that we use for the for the transition color and I'm just going to go back in with the yellow and with the orange kind of like together and just go right in this part right here right in there cuz I feel like it just kind of got like lost and you don't want it to be lost want to make sure that everything is nice and blended together with this brush that we use for the orange is really pouring I'm getting pissed I'm going to go back into the Nubian 2 palette and use the shade Nefertiti right here and just kind of coat the brush in that. I'm just going to do it right in the center. This is not how I did it on uh, my friend Devin for the shoot, but I just think of this looks cute and it's different, you know? Like it's not too much it's very like subtle but i just i think it looks good it's a nice little touch so ooh, it's like noah's ark out there 40 days 40 nights it's been raining. that's it that's all you gotta do that's it that's it now i'm going to use my um to take my liner and I'm just gonna do the tiniest line because we don't want to take away from this shadow that we did. Cause this is this is art, okay? This is art. Okay, one second please. I have to have tea every day, okay? I have to have it every day or I cannot function. I prefer like black tea because then I can put like um, creamer in it and I really love creamer. My all time favorite creamer is is the cold stone creamer um i think it's by international delights or something like that but it's the best it's the best one but anyway um i primed off camera why i don't know but i used my all-time favorite holy grail smashbox photo finish primer and now i'm going to go in with an oldie but goody which is something that i think i use in a like a lot of my videos and that is because 
if it's not broke, why fix it, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to just pour some on the back of my hand. Ooh, I poured a lot though. Okay, seriously? Okay, so it's gonna be like that. And this is in the shade Mocha. And I actually go um, back and forth between a like sponge and a kabuki brush like this but today i'm going to use the kabuki brush because i just think it kind of provides more of like a fuller coverage than the sponge but that's just me and my opinion i don't like do like this with my foundation i actually kind of like like tap it into the skin so that way you get a um, better application and it just looks a little bit better please do not forget to get in your hairline because you don't want it to look like a mask you want to do your hairline as well as like right under your chin and get your whole neck now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade deep and this is just to to um, conceal under my eyes as well as highlight it's just important because I want to bring the focus to like to like my eyes and just like um, the high points of my face and that is the point of high lighting so I do everything that's in the center of my face so I'm just kind of dabbing it and blending it and i also use it as a way to kind of clean up the shadow so it looks a bit more sharper and i'm just going i'm just kind of pouncing it and like pressing it into the skin and also just trying to clean up the shadow and i press it in my chin because for me i have like a um, like a um, little crease right here and I really press that in because you don't want that to kind of um, crease up on you. It's not that cute. I'm going to take my um, Sasha um, Buttercup Powder and I'm running low and it's time to buy another one. And what I'm just going to do, it's just good to kind of set the concealer. So I put it on my sponge, kind of just kind of like press off the excess and I legit just press it into my skin you don't need to use a lot you really don't go down the bridge of my nose because you have to be very very careful to keep it thin you want to keep it thin if that is kind of the look that you are going for which is the look that i am kind of going for so that's why i do it like that okay mm -hmm. i'll get right on the corners of my mouth too so now what i'm going to do is go in with the angle brush again and the contour kit and just kind of finish my contour so i like to just start right here and just go right on the side I like to bring it and bring it across and then I just kind of run the the excess along my jawline now I'm going to use my my light angle brush for my nose I'm going to go back into this shadow and you want to do like your heaviest work at the bottom so like you see that it looks crazy but I'm just going to do it right at the bottom it's very intense right now I don't know why it's super intense oh my gosh but we'll, but we'll go back and the secret to a skinnier nose is to do it closer because like the actual 
bridge of my nose is like nose is right here right there and I I actually come a little bit further to make it look skinnier I just dip into my face powder and just kind of pat over it so it's not as harsh and crazy okay so now I'm going to take my blush and for this um I look um I'm gonna use oh this is by elf this is the dark palette for blush I'm just going to kind of do like that fake like <laughs> smile <laughs> now I'm going to um add the first layer of highlight of course the carly bible palette by bh cosmetics it's the only drawing that i will probably ever use you already know this if you are new to my channel hey but i use um this gold and this bronze together to create the perfect highlight color for my skin tone okay and I'm just gonna do that again on the other side maybe I should do nude in the waterline this is totally not what I did on Devin but at this point y'all don't care right y'all just are here because it is orange all right so i'm going to take this color pop um liner in the shade honey dude i'm going to take it and hopefully this actually works hopefully this works i kind of see it working So I'm going to take an angle brush like this and I'm going to, um, all right, so I'm going to use my Zulu palette and I'm going to go back in that brown and really coat this angle brush. And I'm just going to go like right under where we apply the cream liner and just kind of stamp it in. Oh, sorry. You can't even see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to kind of stamp it right underneath where we apply that cream liner. Being very careful to not touch the cream liner with it. <gasps> my camera stopped recording. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. Mm -hmm. And this is really important to take your time. how it is looking like that oh I like this look it's super orange I look like a can of sun kissed okay I'm gonna use my suede lip liner my face is sweating and I'm going to line my lips and I'm going to line them like this and I also do like like a line down the middle why I don't really know but I just do and you already know what this is I don't even have to tell you what this is okay because I use it in every video <laughs> so I'm going to use it today and after, after this video I'm gonna um, take a break from using it because it is running low so that's what we have i think it looks adorbs helps adorbs i'm gonna go why am i yelling i'm just very very excited I'm very excited so i'm gonna take this brush and my mac quad what what is this this is the show stopper quad this is very old but i like to take um this shadow that i don't know the 
name of and just go in with, with it on my brow oh wait lashes cannot forget about these these lashes before i'm salty and i'm just going to place my finger in the center of it and apply it like so always the inner corner that gives me problems nothing new just stick just stick did it stick okay Ooh, I like this lash it's super thick like boom in your face you see this difference that's crazy that is absolutely insane but this is this is look this is so ooh, child and then this one like <laughs> Oh, child of ghetto. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with this one. And then this one is like, boom, in your face. All right. Did I? <sighs> See what happens when you pray before you start videos? Because God is on my side today. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go back in with some more highlight just because I really enjoy highlight and. I am just going to use the gold. Oh, this looks this looks really good. What y'all think? Cause I really am enjoying this eye look. This whole face today. I'm just gonna spray real quick. Mmm. This is Fix Plus by Mac and the scent coconut. Ooh. Ah. Uh, mmm. I'm feeling this. I'm. <sighs> Orange is really pretty. So, here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this very long video, but yeah. Here is the finished look and I'm here for it. I'm here for it, I'm here for it. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend to subscribe, okay? Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on Sunday, woo, bye.